big cat, about 140 pounds they said, so <clears throat> about as big as they get around here. Just got off the phone with a guide. I got a plan together. Uh, gonna grab a couple of different pickups today. And he's already scouted out the area. And he uh, said he's already got a couple toms located. So we're gonna go see, start there and see if they uh, are still in the area. And then go from there. How you doing? Good. Jared you Thomas. Doing? Nice to meet you. Hey. One of their people they know cut a big track, found a kill, so they're gonna go up there see if they can cut cut any fresh tracks and hopefully get on a cat today. Singing a song in South, sitting the blood in your veins, it can't be tamed. It's passed down through your family name. It's a pack of dogs coming through the woods, lights of fire in a young boy's eyes. Banger! And this sounds just right. Yup, he's driving. Don't break my shit, I'll break your ass. track this is the last one we're gonna to try today dogs turn loose it looks like looks good so far Let's see how it goes oh well, there's sniper pull out and then they could find his track and this dirt now it's so cool badger I'm hoping it's staying on this dry rock face right here. Yeah, see they're moving now. See how packed they're packed together real good. dogs out or on dry ground so the mud and dirt will burn the scent off quick so we're searching around in the snow trying to find which way this cat went
whistle was already said and done by the time we seen the track going up. So I think it just stayed the night in this rock pile over here and got up this morning and started moving last night going up. Ran a few tracks today. Um, none of them were real fresh. The dogs kind of went the wrong direction, but um, a lot of sign. I, I'm really hopeful. I think I think we'll get one killed here before too long. So, yeah, eventful. It was an eventful day. It was a lot of fun. Well, we're we're feeling up. Uh, someone had a goat killed by a mountain lion last night, so we're gonna go check that out and see if we can't help that farmer out. And grabbing some snacks, and then we're on the road. That the uh, cat killed three more goats last night, so got a couple tracks right here. They're going to turn a couple dogs loose, see what they do, and we'll go from there, I guess. So hopefully, hopefully it's a quick one.
the river. Then cross the river and went somewhere and head back to where those kills are and regroup. Is it? Oh, so that other goat was eating on more? Oh yeah. So it wasn't there eating that. So we're headed back to where the goat was killed. It drug another one off last night, so we're gonna go try and catch up with it and see if see if we can't get in the back of the truck. Oh, they got it! Well, jumped out of the tree and it's uh, taken off. Hopefully they get a treat again soon. It's hard to walk through this thick stuff. Kills and I'm just trembling. I'm just trembling. Dude, I've never, I've, I've never been shaky after a kill. There's one right there. 
I just didn't want the dogs to step on it, so I was grabbing them. Dude, I've been trying so hard for so long to kill one of these things. Look at those. Those things get a hold of you? Yeah, everyone's just Oh, you guys crap from seeing to believing got a taste. Dude, that's it's incredible. They're they're crazy animals, man. Shop so freezing, so cold, behold, frostbite, they feel in Don't believe in fake, don't believe in ceilings. I just need a face. Are we going to the field? So I'm not kidding, dude. I tried so freaking hard. How many years you doing? Getting more of you. Yeah, that's one of the bucket list ones right there. We got it finally. Uh, took a couple arrows, but dogs found it in like 200 yards. Trailed it after it got treated, it jumped a couple trees, but got it done. It's a bucket list hunt for me, and so I'm pretty excited. But yeah, big cat, about 140 pounds, they said, so <clears throat> about as big as they get around here, sounds like. So I'm pretty excited. Yeah. 